think it's the classic puncher versus boxer matchup. I mean, I do consider myself a puncher, but like Stevie will tell you, um, I have very underrated boxing skills. They not, they're not they're um, not they're not your traditional textbook boxing skills. But you know, I, I study a lot of the, the the old school guys like Archie Moore, uh, Jack Dempsey. You know, um, great boxers from from back then, Rocky Marciano, guys who had very you know underrated subtle skills that led to big finishes. Ryan Rizicki the son of Cape Breton, the fighting pride of Nova Scotia. He's made the whole island proud. He's made Ontario proud. He's made all of Canada proud. He's took boxing to a new level at his weight class. And it's special to watch, it's special to be involved. And I can't wait for what the future brings for Ryan Rizicki. And he's watching us all with the eyes. Peralta has a chance of winning just like anybody has a chance of winning and that's not just some fancy saying. Like he's got a really good jab, he's got good feet, he's awkward, he's tall. If he has a great night, then of course he has a chance of, of winning, right? We're not silly, we don't shy away from the fact that things can go wrong. But he'll have to be perfect and he'll have to have the night of his life if he wants to pull this off. The thing that separates uh, Yamil Peralta and Ryan Rizicki is Yamil Peralta has never been tested in the professional rankings. Ryan Rizicki's tried, tested, and true. He has been to the gates of hell, should I say. We've seen it. Everyone witnessed it. Has Peralta been there? No. Is Peralta going to be there? Yes. And come May 7th, we're going to see what happens. Ooh. Uh -huh.